In today's video, I'll guide you step by step on how to build a strong dividend stock portfolio. We'll cover everything you need to know to start investing in dividend stocks confidently. By the end, you'll be ready to create a high quality portfolio tailored to your goals. Let's dive in. What is a dividend stock? Let's start with the basics. What exactly is a dividend stock? A dividend stock represents a company that shares part of its earnings with its shareholders. In simpler terms, you earn money just by owning shares in a dividend-paying company. These payments provide passive income to shareholders. Typically, dividend stocks come from established companies with a history of consistently returning earnings to investors. How do they work? Here's an example to illustrate. Imagine you buy 100 shares of a company at $10 each, spending $1,000 in total. If that company pays a dividend of 50 cents per share annually, you'll earn $50 for the year, a 5% dividend yield. That $50 represents your passive income earned simply for holding the stock. Why dividend investing? So why should you consider building a dividend portfolio? Dividend stocks provide consistent payouts, offering stability compared to relying solely on stock price appreciation. Dividend portfolios tend to be more resilient during market volatility, providing peace of mind in uncertain times. Investing in solid dividend-paying companies helps offset inflation and market fluctuations. These stocks offer a way to diversify your portfolio with reliable income sources. Let's look at the benefits. You earn without active effort. No need to manage a business or make ongoing adjustments. Just hold the stock and collect payments. Market outperformance. When including dividend payouts, these stocks often outperform the broader market over time. While they grow more slowly, dividend stocks are less volatile and hold their value better during downturns. Dividends, especially qualified ones, are taxed at lower rates than regular income. Reinvesting dividends allows your portfolio to grow exponentially over time. Of course, there are downsides. Dividend-paying companies reinvest less in their own growth, which can limit stock price increases. Companies can suspend or cut dividends during financial struggles. Dividend ETFs often focus on large-cap stocks, missing out on mid- and small-cap opportunities. Some of the most well-known dividend stocks include major blue-chip companies. These tend to pay reliable, above-average dividends compared to other stocks. Here's how you can get started. Open a brokerage account. Deposit funds. Research and choose your investments. Purchase your selected stocks or ETFs. Platforms like Vetify are excellent for researching dividend ETFs. Their tools allow you to compare funds like SCHD, VIG, and VYM, including metrics like expense ratios and total net assets. Alternatively, platforms like Webull also provide these details for individual dividend stocks. While high dividend yields may look attractive, be cautious of dividend traps. These stocks might pay excessive dividends at the cost of long-term growth or stability. Here's a quick example of purchasing a dividend stock on Webull. Search for Kraft Heinz, ticker symbol KHC, a popular dividend stock. Review the details, select the number of shares, and complete your order. When investing, always prioritize safety. Only invest money you're prepared to lose, and do thorough research. A good rule of thumb is to spend one hour researching each company to ensure it aligns with your risk tolerance. Earnings per share, or EPS, helps normalize a company's earnings to a per share value. Companies that consistently grow their EPS over time are usually solid picks for dividend stocks, offering greater reliability. A good practice is to compare a company's EPS to its sector average and its biggest competitors to gauge performance. When building your portfolio, there are a few things you shouldn't overlook. We'll explore each point in detail, but the essentials include choosing quality stocks, diversifying across industries, prioritizing financial stability over aggressive growth, targeting reasonable payout ratios, and focusing on companies with a track record of increasing dividends. Reinvesting those dividends is also key if you want to harness the power of compounding for faster growth. When it comes to dividend investing, there are three primary strategies. This involves investing in companies that grow both their dividends and overall value year over year. It's often considered optimal because you benefit from the regular dividend payments and the potential appreciation in share price. Essentially, you're gaining on two fronts, dividend income and capital gains. Let's revisit dividend traps as they're a common pitfall for beginners. Companies offering exceptionally high dividend yields, sometimes in the range of 20% to 60%, can be tempting. However, these yields are often unsustainable. 
Such companies may have poor financial health or shaky business fundamentals, which can lead to dividend cuts or eliminations over time. Things to remember. Here are some final key points. Dividend investing works best as a long-term strategy for building passive income. It's not a quick path to wealth, but rather a reliable way to generate consistent income. Dividend stocks might not deliver the same explosive growth as other investments, but they provide stability and regular income. Income potential. Over time, a well-constructed dividend portfolio can pay enough to cover living expenses. For example, a $1 million portfolio with a 3% yield generates $30,000 annually. While dividend investing shouldn't be your entire strategy, it's an excellent way to diversify your portfolio and build steady income streams. That's it for today's video. Dividend stocks are gaining popularity, especially with the recent underperformance of tech stocks and the S&P 500. Many dividend-paying companies have held their value and continued payouts during this time, making them a reliable addition to your portfolio. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more content on personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. Links for free stock offers are in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.